So if you watched our commercial on one of those brighter TVs, it would kind of obliterate your eyes. So we didn't want to obliterate our viewers' eyes. The obsessive DP. Welcome back to the obsessive DP. I'm Ryan. This is the show all about high level production grade lighting, camera, and lensing tips. Today, we're going to go over how to light a psych wall. Now, over at Knack Knack, we've done this kind of psych wall infinite white setup for, you know, a good amount of videos now, numerous videos at this point. And it's a very classic, very simple. You think the Verizon commercials, you think the Mac PC commercials, a lot of them use a psych wall, but they all kind of have a different style on how they use it. I forgot to turn on this light. Yeah, just a little bit of blue. Anyway, it's used all the time in commercial, mostly commercials. Uh, I can't think of a movie that it was used on, to be honest. It's a very commercial look. Our very first nationwide commercial, we use a psych wall. It, it's very common, but it, it is very commercial. I don't know what else you'd use a psych wall for. I don't know why you'd use it in a film, unless it was a green screen wall, psych. It's funny because you think, oh, it's just a white wall, and you think there's probably only one way to light it, but that's not really true. There's a billion ways to light it. You can light it super even, where everything is just white, everything's just blown out so that you f your character feels like they're just in this other world. Or you could light it to have a little bit more definition. You have some shadows playing on your wall where the edges are darker because you're not focusing your lights to fill the whole background. You're kind of focusing it to fill part of the background so it feels kind of arty, a little less like stark white. It's not always the look we want to go for. Uh, I think I feel like when psych walls were invented that was the point it was the point the point of a psych wall was just to make it all white but it's a little more interesting to look at if you add a little bit of definition to the psych because then it has a gradation from light to dark you have your light points you have your dark points you have that little salt and pepper feel that we're doing as DPs if you make the background entirely white your eye kind of goes there versus your subject right the human's eye is naturally drawn to white so if your entire background is white it's not the best <laughs> So here, here's a production we did recently where we had to light a psych wall from scratch. So there's several ways. When you're renting a psych stage or when you're filming at a psych stage, they usually come in two flavors. One is pre-lit, the other one is not pre-lit. So in this case, we wanted to light it from scratch. Uh, we had a lower budget. We also thought it would be fun to bring our own lights in and get up on the skyjack and actually hook in our lights, get our safeties, get everything that comes with that which was turns out to be a lot it was actually a lot of rentals it was cool to be able to do that because most of the time we've actually rented spaces that already had a pre-lit psych so it was cool to bring our own lights and do this experiment we got to work with my gaffer got to work with the grip and it was a, it was a fun learning experience <laughs> So the way we lit this was we got four sky panels, hoisted them up to the grid because we had a grid at this location. If you don't have a grid, I don't know if you can really do it, but it's just you should probably not rent a stage that doesn't have a grid installed. So we did that. Uh, we spaced them out. So we found the center of our room, right? And then we spaced out the sky panels, the S60s, to evenly light our psych. But in this case we, we didn't go for the full white stark look we wanted our wide we had a wide and a tight and if you look at them side by side you can see in the wide we have some definition we have some shadows we have some parts in the background that aren't full white but on the tight pretty much it's all even it's all the same because it's about this size versus this size and we had this size we wanted a little more definition. We wanted a little more artsy feel to the background versus stark white because that was a big amount of space to have only white. I don't think it looks that great. So we had four kind of hot spots on the background where we aimed our lights perfectly at that. We could have probably softened them. Uh, we could have softened our lights, which would have created a more even beam, but we kind of wanted those hot spots so that it had that look we were going for. Especially in this Verizon commercial, the wide looks way different 
than the tight. The wide has so much definition, so much light and shadow, and that was kind of the look we were going for. We also didn't want to go stark white. We wanted a little bit of gray, because if you just go stark white, you're at 100 IRE, you're at the top of it, you're clipping. Not that there's any detail to bring back, but that's kind of the style now with HDR video. HDR white is really bright. So if you watched our commercial on one of those brighter TVs, it would kind of obliterate your eyes. So we didn't want to obliterate our viewers' eyes, so we had our white point at about 95, 90 to 95 IRE, which is about that orange-red zone on the scale, on the Flanders measurement scale. And that's what we exposed it at, because we thought that looked the best. In the 90s, you know, you would have blown it out. In the 90s, it would have been all even, all blown out. No kind of artsy, contrasty, interesting look. But it's 2020, 2021 now, so we wanted it to look a little bit better. So here's some final shots. You can see side by side, again, the wide and the tight kind of have a different feel, but the director and I really liked that look and we thought it looked the best for these spots. I probably missed something. My baby just woke up, so I gotta go back to it. Uh, hope you learned something. Comment down below if anything needs to be clarified or you have any questions or you have an idea for a video. I'm always listening. Stay obsessed.